Okay. Uh, as we have already discussed about process groups uh, in, in these five different processes groups, uh, the uh, processes are defined, how we have to do the work, these processes uh, are defined. Um, uh, here we come the process groups and that how um, we feel the need of uh, doing the um, dividing the process in different groups and the process groups are linked by the results they produce like uh, the process um, is generating the output it will become the input of that next next process um, these processes are interlinked these processes are cooperating with each other uh, the one phase when it completes um, uh, and generate an output uh, that output becomes the input of the next phase uh, like when we complete the phase of planning it will definitely go to the uh, executing process the planning of that phase becomes the um, executing phase um, then provide documented updates to the plan as then project process Here are the um, diagram, here is the diagram, uh, which is representing how these processes are interlinked. First of all, we are initiating the process, then we are planning the process. After the planning, after completion, after completing the planning phase, we, uh, we can move on the executing process. And when the execution of the process is done, then we have to control the process. If the controlling process is not perfectly working, we can go back to the execution process. We have to make the changes in the execution process either we have to go back on the planning process that the controls are not properly working we have to do the planning accordingly and then we have to repeat the whole process if the controlling process is perfectly working then um, we can, uh, then it means we have um, obviously obtained the required result then we can complete uh, the project and close the, that process planning processes planning is the major and important thing we have to do the uh, we have to do this before starting the process first of all we have to uh, gather the requirements then we have to do the planning according to this but that uh, what we will do to do what we will do to obtain the successful result which steps will be followed how team will be created which team member will be assigned uh, which role what will be their roles and responsibilities which tools and techniques will be used how the project will be developed and how the successful final end results will be obtained uh, planning is not an uh, exact any science we can uh, build our own standard we can uh, build our own um, uh, standard according to our requirements we have to meet our own um, uh, own uh, like we can say this um, uh, standards um, according to our required quality Core processes, uh, some planning processes have clear dependencies that require them to be performed in essentially the same order on most projects. For example, activities must be defined before they can be scheduled or cost. No activity cannot be started before um, it is uh, scheduled for the time and costed. These core planning processes may be iterated several times during any of the one phase. Uh, then we have to do the executing process. Executing process is the main uh, and important thing. We have to execute the process uh, according to the requirements. After the completion of the project, uh, after the uh, making of project management plan, we have to execute that process. Project will be, this project phase will be facilitating all the processes and end result will be obtained here. Executing process uh, start from the project plan execution and facilitating these processes. These processes are interlinked. We have to check the information uh, which is uh, um, generated, which is uh, collected. We have to uh, make the team. We have to deliver this information to that team members, uh, that developed team members. We have to check the scope of that project. Now we have to do the scope verification. Then we have to do the socialization. Uh, solicitation then we have to do then we have to select different sources which will be used 
then we have to do the contract administration so that uh, no one can say that it, it was not required and we were expecting something else. Uh, it, all these things were, uh, will be documented so that no one can claim any extra thing. Controlling processes, um, uh, project performance must be measured regularly to identify variants from the plan. Contro we have to uh, control all the processes so that we can obtain the desired thing. It doesn't happen our project is not going to be able to control it and we have to do the check and balance we have to do the check and balance so that it can be finished on the time we, uh, if any kind of adjustment are needed then these adjustments can be made uh, project cannot take over time project cannot exceed its limit of time or uh, budget we have to maintain these things uh, if there is any kind of problem, we have to solve these problems. All these things which are related to project problems, these are controlled here. Controlling pro uh, processes perform, uh, includes performance reporting and overall change control. We have to report the performance that how project is working efficiently or having any ambiguities. And then we have to uh, check the overall change control. These both things are uh, interlinked and both things are further linked with facilitating of processes. Mm, uh, where we can see this, uh, how facilitate processes are facilitated that scope changes, control is done, schedule control is done, cost control is done, risk management is done, quality control is done, that the quality which is promised will be delivered if any kind of risk, if any kind of risk is occurring, how we have to control these risks. Closing process. Um, after completing, after completing of the project, after obtaining the successful result, after obtaining the desired product, we can successfully close the project. Uh, project can be uh, successfully created by two different types, administrative closure and contract closeout. Uh, in administrative closure, we have to generate, gather and dis, uh, disseminating information to formalize. Uh, formalized phase and project completion. When the project is successfully completed, it's all the aspects are generated, we can administratively close out. Contract close out means uh, when the project is completed and it is settled, uh, settlement of contract, including resolution of an open item that uh, the project is successfully uh, implemented in the desired place, then we can officially uh, close out that project. As we can see this, how project closing is done um, from the controlling processes, uh, we can do this uh, contract closeout or administrative closeout. Thank you so much.